Tonight, an American civilian kidnapped in Iraq is beheaded by terrorists. Who's behind this outrage? And is it part of a campaign the terrorists will call revenge for Iraqi prisoners? The American general who investigated the prison abuse scandal tells Congress who he thinks is to blame for it. I on America exposes a danger to your children. Why toys purchased from a gumball machine may be so hazardous to their health. And with gasoline prices soaring, why is the automobile industry pulling the plug on this man's pickup that needs no gas? This is the CBS Evening News, with Dan Rather reporting from CBS News headquarters in New York. Good evening. Just when it seemed nothing else in Iraq could shock you, something did. And before we go any further, we caution you, you may not want your young children to hear or see this. An American civilian kidnapped in Iraq last month has been executed in a most vicious way, taken before a video camera and beheaded. The pictures are horrifying. CBS is not going to show the worst of it, though, as David Hawkins reports, the murderers made sure the full video in all its horror and their message got out. They call it revenge for the abuse and torture of Iraqi inmates at the Abu Ghraib prison. Five hooded men claiming to be members of al-Qaeda stand over their captive. Nick Berg, a 26-year-old American who came to Iraq to repair communications equipment. The rest is too gruesome to show. They cut off his head, then held it up for the camera. In a statement to the mothers and wives of American soldiers, Berg's executioner said they offered to exchange him for detainees at Abu Ghraib, a claim that has not been confirmed. They promised that more hostages will be, quote, slaughtered in this way. Berg's parents said their son went to Iraq because he wanted to help rebuild the country's infrastructure, but couldn't find work there and was trying to make his way home. He was a giving person. He definitely did not go to Iraq for for the for the money uh, he never made any money they said he'd been missing since april 9th the same day several american contractors and two soldiers were killed or captured when their convoy was attacked near baghdad the video was posted on an islamic website and titled abu musab al zarqawi shown slaughtering an american al zarqawi thought to be leading al-qaeda operatives in iraq is one of osama bin laden's top lieutenants He's on the coalition's most wanted list and has a $10 million price on his head. Nick Berg's body was discovered on Saturday, dumped near a highway overpass in Baghdad. While the circumstances of his capture remain murky, how he died is now brutally clear. David Hawkins, CBS News, Baghdad.